Hey everyone, this video is on relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass accounts for the various atomic mass of the isotopes of a particular element. Now, it's important to not get confused between relative atomic mass and average atomic mass. Technically, it's incorrect to say that relative atomic mass is the average of the atomic mass of all the isotopes because relative atomic mass actually considers the relative abundance of the different isotopes of an element. We are not simply calculating the average of the isotopes masses, but we are actually calculating the masses after considering how abundant each isotope is. Relative atomic mass of an element can be easily identified on the periodic table as it is the number with the decimal places below the element symbol or the atomic number. So the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008. The units for relative atomic mass is atomic mass units. This is often shortened as AMU or simply U. Re atomic mass units is defined such that it is equal to 1 12th of the mass of a carbon-12 atom. If we want to convert into the kilograms, 1 AMU is equal to 1.661 times 10 to the power minus 27 kilograms. That's really the reason why we are using the unit of AMU to describe atomic masses because it will be a hassle to always use kilograms when the actual mass is significantly smaller than a kilogram. The best way to understand and know how to calculate atomic mass is to use some examples. Let's start with hydrogen. Hydrogen has various isotopes, but when we are calculating the relative atomic mass, we are only using the masses of stable isotopes. So really, the ones provided in the table here are stable isotopes. So we've got hydrogen 1, which has atomic mass of 1.0078, and H2, which has an atomic mass of 2.0141 atomic mass units. And these are the relative abundances. So the relative mass will be equal to the atomic mass of each isotope multiplied by the corresponding abundance, and we add them together. So because hydrogen only has two stable isotopes, we only need to do this twice. And this will give an answer of 1.008 atomic mass units. This is the number that's found on the periodic table. Now you can see this number is really, really close to the atomic mass of H1. And it makes sense because the H1 isotopes makes up the majority of all the isotopes of hydrogen 1. So logically, the relative atomic mass of hydrogen should be really close to the atomic mass of the hydrogen 1 isotope. Now, this is not always the case. Sometimes an element relative atomic mass could be in between the atomic masses of their isotopes. For example, chlorine-35 and chlorine-37 are the two stable isotopes of chlorine, and these are the atomic masses respectively. You can see in this instance, the chlorine-35 isotope has a relative abundance of 75.77%, and the chlorine-37 isotope makes up the remaining percentage. So to calculate the relative atomic mass, we'll take the atomic mass of one isotope times by its abundance, and again, we add them together. If you type this in the calculator, you will get 35.45 AMU. Again, this is the number that we see in the periodic table. Now, sometimes you will come across examples of elements where there are more than one isotope. So here's an example of the isotopes of chromium. In some cases, you might be asked to calculate the relative abundance of one of the isotopes, given the actual relative atomic mass from the periodic table. In this instance, we are required to calculate the relative abundance of the chromium-52 isotope, and we know that the relative atomic mass of chromium is 52.00. So if we take the atomic mass of each isotope, multiply their abundance, and we add them together, in this case, because we don't know what the abundance for the chromium-52 isotope is, we just write this down as x, we do the same thing, for the remaining isotopes and we know if we add them together the final answer here will be equal to the relative atomic mass of 52.00 in the periodic table. We can rearrange this equation to make x the subject. We can move this term, this term and this term to the right hand side by subtracting them and we'll get 51.9405 times by x is equal to 43.52 or 6, we'll divide both sides by 51.9405 to find the value of x. 
and x here would be 83.8%. So the relative abundance of the chromium-52 isotope is 53.8%. This concludes the video on relative atomic mass. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive Discord discussions about questions on chemistry and physics, and live preparation sessions for your exams. Don't forget to head over to our website for topic tests and practice exams to further improve your understanding and learning.